Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we got a special video where we're going to be looking at the new legendary card back for Kingdom Death Monster. Now this is an upgrade pack for the 1.6 edition of the game that includes lots of promo cards, fixes for errors in the game, as well as balance and change updates that are going to make the new game a more robust and complete package. Now that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these new cards and new events. So, first thing, let's go ahead and take a look at all of our large cards. So these cards here are going to include a couple of new events for the Screaming Antelope and White Lion to replace the old events. I'll go ahead and leave these here for you to read if you'd like to pause the video. I'll do these with most of the cards in this video. And then we have three new basic resources in the form of perfect resources. So we have Organ, Bone, and Hide. So those are all of the basic resources here. Up next, we have some corrections for some things. The Lonely Tree, Vormit Obsession. These are Disorders and Terrain cards. As well as some corrections for the Dung Beetle, Prepared Tunnels, Resin Ball Shot. We have some updates for the Lion Knight in the form of the Stage and the Villain. We have some hit locations for the Screaming Antelope, as well as the Dung Beetle Knight. We have an actual resource for the Life String for the Sunstalker campaign. Very awesome. And we have an update to the Screaming Armor for the Antelope. We then have two replacement basic action cards, one for the Tyrant from the Dragon King expansion, and then one from the Lonely Tree. So those are all of the large cards. We also have some dividers for the game. We have new dividers for the Pattern Gear, the Promo Gear for the small dividers, and then one for Strain Milestones, Strain Fighting Arts, and Pattern Cards. And these are all very simple, straightforward dividers. Up next, let's go ahead and take a look at all of the small cards, all the gear cards here. So first off, we have some updates for the Screaming Antelope, his Screaming Bracers. We have the Screaming Skirt. We have the Screaming Horns, and we're going to have three of each of these. We have the Elder Earrings. We have the Brain Mint. We've got the Scrap Rebar, which is a new card. Very exciting. This makes one of your scrap weapons, so any weapon lose frail and gain unwieldy. And then this will get destroyed instead of the weapon. Very, very cool. And then a new spear, a scrap bone spear. Very, very awesome, with a new keyword, barbed. Up next, we have a reprint of Monster Grease. Once again, three of each of these. We've got the Blood Sheath here. And the Finger of God. The Hollow Sword, which has been buffed. As well as the Rainbow Katana. We also have the Sonic Tomahawk. And then lastly, Speed Powder. Now, a lot of these changes might not be on the front. The backs of these cards also have new settlement locations, potentially, that they have been changed to. Up next, we're going to look at the Vespertine Bow. So they've gone ahead and debuffed this one here for the Flower Knight expansion. That's what that new copy looks like. We've got the Oxidized Lantern Glaive. Very, very cool. A new Lantern, the Polishing Lantern. New replacements for the Charms. Blue Charm. Red Charm. And then we have Final Lantern, our double-sided lantern. Some of the promo cards, including the cloth legging and the hard breastplate. And these are going to have special ways that you craft them. I like that they actually cost cloth. That's kind of cool. And then the green charms and the remaining red charm. We have another new gear card here in the form of Scrap Lantern. The Counterweighted Axe. Scrap Sword Replacement with that new keyword, Barbed. As well as a Scrap Dagger. We also have the Blue Lantern here. 
as well as the dormant Twilight Coke that you're going to be getting through events. And then you'll also have the Blood Skin and the Speaker Colt Knife. And we also have some new items here, Lantern Brazier, the Leather Bodysuit, Rawhide Corset, Teeth Bikini, Lantern Halberd, and Steel Sword. So those are all of the gear cards. We also have an update guide here that's going to tell us how to install all of these new things, including sticker sheets, as well as what gear cards are replaced. So really handy. Underneath this cardboard divider here, we're going to have two new events. We have a new event here that I haven't seen before. This is Dark Seamstress. Very cool. That allows you to get those new gear types. And then we have the Story in the Snow event that's in the promos. We then have all of the stickers that you're going to be affixing to the books. These include new rules for traps, doom, survivor attack limits. You have new rewards for the Screaming Antelope that change how you actually get certain locations. The aftermath section. We have the Tattered Parcel. These are going to replace those special events when you get the Twilight Sword, as well as when you visit the White Speaker for Wares for Trade. We have some new replacement text here for some different creatures including the Lonely Tree, and those are all the stickers. And up next, we have our new locations. These are going to have all of your updated costs and cards, as well as new ways to actually unlock these locations. For example, the Organ Grinder here now unlocks the Barber Surgeon, as opposed to the Stone Circle. Very, very cool. We've also got the Plumery here that updates all of those new weapons and affinities. The stone circle itself that's going to get unlocked from actually taking out the antelope. The weapon crafter with its new information. And lastly, the blacksmith. And that's everything in the legendary card pack for Kingdom Death Monster. If you have any questions about what you saw here, please let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited to get a copy of the Legendary Card Pack and update your game to the next level? This is a great opportunity. Make sure you do go ahead and get a copy of this if you can. That way you can balance out your game a little bit and maybe even open up some new avenues and new paths. Super excited to give this one a try. Thank you so much for watching Side Game Strong.